Whenever you see a new film at the theatres or the cinemas, you expect to see a lot of uh, brand engagement uh, around that launch. Well, one person that knows all about it is Jamie Stevens, the head of consumer brands at Sony Pictures. Jamie, how important is licensing when it comes to launching in theatres? Licensing plays a huge part in our business. It really extends the brand and the message to get people into the seats in the theaters, and it really lets them experience the brand like they've never been ex to be able to experience before. So they're able to get t-shirts and toys and other things that are part of the film and the experience that they can take home with them. Uh, there are some obvious, easy films that you can talk about where there is a lot of branding around it, but it's not just those ones. It isn't, and what we do at Sony is we try to take almost every film and look at the right application and see if we can make products and experiences for our fans. So we have things from Ghostbusters to our television shows and all have consumer products and products that go with it. It's all about the IP, obviously, and something I can spot behind is the Men in Black returning in June 2019. What sort of things will you be doing to start promoting that even that this far out? Well, we will start having a trailer that will come out this holiday, and then we're starting pitching to all of our partners, and we'll have a lot of different categories that really bring the franchise to life and are reinvigorating a new story for a new generation. Sometimes you see films going in and out of the theatre really, really quickly, maybe three, four weeks at best. How important is this sort of licensing to keep the brand in the customer's eye for as long as possible? The licensing is really important and also we're not just about the film window. We have the DVD window, we have digital, so it's important to keep that brand out as long as we possibly can and hopefully for the next iteration of the film or television. And what sort of novel things are you starting to do? Once upon a time, it might be an offer on the side of a and a breakfast cereal packet or something like that. But where is the novelty now? We're really looking in all the products we do to put innovation, and it's all about that brand. So anything we can do that really ties back to what the brand essence is about, we try to do that. It's more than just toys, then. It's more than just toys. It's about experiences. It's interactive gaming. It's VR. It's really bringing that product to life for the consumer. So tell us about some of the big films that you're pushing here at the show today. So we're really excited. We have some new films and television shows, and we also have some older films and franchises. So for example, Ghostbusters is celebrating its 35th anniversary, and we have a lot of things going on for that. And then we're also looking at a new Men in Black, a new Charlie's Angels, and we have great TV shows um, like Outlander that we are promoting and developing uh, products for. Is nostalgia a bit of a trend? We've sort of seen some other uh, licensing booths here where you're kind of going, hang on, that, that's definitely a brand from yesteryear, right. and you've just mentioned a couple from the past as well. Right, nostalgia is huge. It's very on trend, and that's where we go into our vault, and we're able to pull out a lot of the franchises we have. Like I mentioned, Ghostbusters, but we have a full slate of catalog films that we can pull out, and they're very on trend right now. Jamie, thank you very much. Thank you. Hello, I'm James Wright. Thanks for watching Marketing Media Money. To check out more online videos, just click on the boxes and don't forget to subscribe to the CNBC Life channel at the bottom of the screen.